All right, guys, welcome back to Off Block Gaming. I'm Isaac, and with me today is... Oliver. And today what we're going to do, we're going to open up a box of Ikoria, Lair of Behemoth. Uh, now, there's a lot going on, COVID-19, and so I want to give a big shout-out to our local store, Vans. Vans Cards, Collectibles and Games, I believe. Cards, Comics, and Games, that's it. And they are awesome. Now, during this time... A lot of small businesses are having some trouble. And vans, they were awesome. They were doing curbside pickup. They were doing online orders. I mean, they were awesome. And today, when I went and picked this up, show them what I got today. A little coin with their logo on it. Really neat. Uh, just in case you put it to the side and have a reminder to draw at the end of your instep or things like that. Really cool. Got that for free today. So we're going to give a big shout out to vans. And today, we're going to crack into... Icoria Lair of Behemoths. Oh, yeah. I'm going to save this for last. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sweet. So, Oliver, you haven't seen a whole lot of cards from this set, have you? Mm -hmm. No, this set is really cool because they did some different types of artworks. And the Buy Box promo, which is... Where is it? There it is. Oh, Right here, Godzilla King of Monsters. It's actually cool because it's actually a different card in the set. This has different artwork on it. And they have different artworks, like um, I believe they are called Showcase Artworks. It's the side tab. Okay. Showcase Artworks, where it looks like a comic book art. Now, these packs are different, Oliver, because it starts with the token, the land, and then the rare and mythic. Ooh. All right, Gigantha, the Wellspring. Now, this is a different mechanic called Companion. Like a mini commander. Got the new artifacts. Taps for three colored land. General Enforcer. Uh, Porcuparrot. That's pretty cool, huh, Oliver? Yeah, nice too. Yeah, and I'm not going to really go through all the commons. There's a lot of new things in this set. So they have, let's get the uncommons over here. Rares. Lands and tokens. Um, they have mutate. Really, really cool mechanic. Interesting mechanic. Um, where you can actually put a creature card on top or on underneath something else to see that. Ruinous ultimatum destroys Ooh. all non-land permanents your opponent's control. That's really cool. That's good. It is. Migration path, storm of the corridor, insatiable hum hum Hemophage. Wow, that's interesting. And there are your comments. Oh, there's some of the showcase. Let's get, that's the reason I was going to go through them. There's one of the showcase where it almost looks like an extended artwork. And it's actually almost like a comic book artwork. Really neat. Now I actually make a stack for the showcase artwork down here. Okay, next pack. Got a good feeling about this one, Oliver? Mm, yeah. That didn't sound too convincing. There. Ah! Not really. Not really? Okay. I feel like we're going to get something kind of good. Okay. Token. Land. Essence Symbiote Foil. And Mythos of Snapdex. Seb McKinnon artwork. I really like that artwork. Rare. Yeah. Charge of the Forever Beast. Sanctuary Lockdown. Lockdown. Ha <laughs> ha. Savai Thundermane. And here you come. Let's go through. See if you have any of the showcase artworks. None. Okay. I thought it was really neat. In this set, I saw some people opening stuff up on YouTube um, where they actually have some of the extended artworks in regular booster packs. Offspring's Revenge. At the beginning of your combat, on your turn, exile target red, white, or black creature card from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of that card. Except it's 1-1 one, one and gains haste. Mm, kind of good. Maybe. We'll see. Ooh, another showcase. Unless you have a card that says when a creature enters the battlefield, it gets three plus three plus three. Uh, maybe that could be some, maybe enter a battlefield effect. We work with that, absolutely, yeah. Good job. Oh, no table required, yay. Absolutely useless token. Cool. Yeah. Alright, Dirge Bat. Now, this is the mutate mechanic. So you can play it for its normal cost, or you can use this mutate where 
It has flash, flying. Whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Really neat, and it costs six to do that. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth six, because you got, what is it, the knight from Thornville Drain that does the exact same thing for less. Um, I actually cannot remember that. Terrible magic player. Okay. Soldier token, land, and Mythos of Luna. Another Mythos by Seth McKinnon. That's cool. I really like these artifacts with the three color lands. Let's go through any showcase artwork. No. So I have just started getting into Commander. And I like Commander. And I'm going to need those artifacts with the three colors for my three color commanders. Okay, token, land. Ooh, another Genesis Ultimatum. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them into the battlefield. That's good. I like that. You do? Why? Why do you like that? Because I like the way it does all the stuff in it. The stuff that it does is pretty cool. Well, it puts things directly onto the battlefield. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay their um, casting costs, which is great. We haven't had a Mythic yet. I think it's time for a Mythic. What do you think, Oliver? Mm-hmm. Okay, Swift Water Cliffs, Uncommon, and Labyrinth Raptor Rare. I was wrong. I'm wrong a lot, aren't I? Crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, you shouldn't agree to that. Your dad. Gosh. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Now, Oliver, I want you to go ahead and pick out a pack, because I'm going to let you open the next one. Okay? Mm -hmm. Land, and Gem Razor. Ooh, I like that one. Let's, let's read what it says since I like it so much. Okay. Reach and trample whenever this creature mutates. Destroy target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. Okay. You have something out there. Mutate it. Real, um, it has reach, trample, and destroying target artifact and enchantment. That's really great. I really like that card. I like reach. You like reach. Why do you like reach? It's good. <laughs> it's just good. <laughs> All right. Right over here. Right over the Vans logo. Okay. Right here. Hold on. Take that, take that piece and pull it. Oh, come on, straight down. There you go. It's not tape. I see a little bit of tape. No, it's just plastic. Okay, right over the top. Token land. All right, we've got a foil on common, and here's our rare for this set. Ooh. Three colored land. White, black, and green. That's great. I like the three colored lands. They do come in tapped, but they're still great. I like the idea that you can have three colors in one land. Oh, Evolving Wilds. Joey Moss's favorite card. It's wonderful. I like that. Oh, yeah? No Mythics, Oliver. Did we get a Mythic free box? Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? Well, there yeah. we go. When on a joiner of forces, legendary creature, human, when a non-human creature you control attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put a human creature card from among them onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible until the end of the turn. Put the rest of the cards on the bottom of your library in any random order. These human builds are really good in this set. I like that card. Really? Because... If it comes in attacking, mm -hmm. oh, look at this showcase one. I, if it's a three, a three four, with, and it comes in with attacking, yeah, it's good. It is good. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is the little counters. Some cards will cool. you can add menace first strike counters. You can pop those out and use them at any time. I'll let you have that one, Oliver. Ew. Ooh, check this out, Oliver. Mm -hmm. This is the. Showcase Mythic Nethroi Apex of Death. That's really cool. Our first Mythic. That's the second Mythic. We just opened uh, the Mythic right here. See? Uh, Renata. It has Mutate, Death Touch, and Life Link. Wow. When this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's great. Enter the battlefield effects. Oh, man. That's a really good card. Okay. Leave the Stampede. Pounce. <laughs> I love these shark cards. I really, I'm, I'm, I got the Timeless Whisper uh, Commander it. deck because it has the flying mythic shark in it. I'm really excited about that one. 
for sure. Okay, two mythics so far. It is funny. Not as funny as shark to crab, huh? But what's a shark? It's from uh, Ravnica Allegiance. Ooh, yes. Hmm? Bobos the Prey Piercer. Really good card. Good companion card. Companion, your starting deck contains only cards with odd converted mana costs and land cards. If a source you control with an odd converted mana cost will deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to the permanent or player instead. Wow, that's really good. I haven't had a chance to play with a lot of these cards on Arena yet. It's just been really busy since this whole COVID-19 coronavirus has been going on. I've got a lot of uh, Honeydew list stuff. You know what that means, Oliver? Yeah. Hunted Nightmare. Honeydew list means I have a list, and it says, Honey, do that. So that's a Honeydew list. All right, let's see if we have any showcase in here. No, that's okay. You've been building stuff here. Exactly. That's because, you know what? Honey said to do that, right? You know what I mean by honey? Yeah. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Token. Land. Ooh. White, black, green. Extended art. Triome land. Three colored land. That's awesome. So cool. Super cool. Swallow hole. Rooting Moloch, Skull Prophet. Okay, and here's your commons. Let's see if there's any showcase in there. Not seeing any. Okay, next stack. Woo! Getting into some good ones here, Oliver. Yay! Can't wait for this box topper. Token. Land. Foil land. Ew! Oh, the Ozolith. Yes, whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Ozolith. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if the Ozolith has counters on it, you may move all counters from the Ozolith onto target creature. Great card. Yeah. Reptilian Reflection. Alert the Heed. Bonder. Sometimes you get really mixed up with these words. Reading is weird. Don't you think, Oliver? No, not to me. No, not to you, because you're so smart. <laughs> Beast Token. Land, Ooh. Titan's Nest, at the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Exile card from your graveyard, add colorless mana, spin that mana, only to cast colored spell without X in the mana cost. That's a lot of wording for something that's not that great, to yeah. be completely honest. I could be wrong, but it just doesn't seem as good as it... As, ooh, look at there, another Cavern Whisperer. I really do like these. Cards. Aren't they pretty? I like the shark that was under there. The shark one was really cool. For sure. That's a beast token. Island. A foil. Eerie ultimatum. Awesome. Boy, look at that foliage. Why do they cost a lot, man? Uh, I don't know. Maybe look at, let's, read, let's read what it says. Return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. So. Uh, yeah. I guess it's because and then they're deaths, such a good card. Death Oasis. Whenever a non creature or non token creature you control dies, put the top two cards of your library onto the graveyard into the graveyard. Then return a creature card for, with lesser converted mana costs than the creature that died in the graveyard to your hand. Okay, not bad. Yeah. Void Beckoner, Zacketh Crystal, Yoth. Satiable Hemophage. And there's the commons. If you like to pause and look through them, go right ahead. I'm going to fix my stack up here. Pretty good pulls so far, about halfway through the box already. Three. Uh, worthless token. Land. Lava Brink Adventurer. Lava Brink, sorry. As Lava Brink Adventurer enters the battlefield, choose odd or even. Zero is even. Yeah. I like how they added zero is even. Um... It has protection from each converted mana cost of the chosen value. Okay, so they have a lot of tokens, then you would choose zero. Okay. Ooh, Boneyard Lurker. Really cool. Balding Wilds, of course. And there's the commons. Let's go to the next pack. Go ahead and get you one ready to open, Oliver. You got one next out of this stack. Okay. All right. Oh, there's cards. There's really expensive cardboard. Sea Dasher Octopus. 
mutate for one and a blue. Whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, draw a card. It has flash. That's cool. Flash that onto with mutate cost onto something with flying. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And no showcase. All right, I'll get you back up here. All right. Let me pull that. Get that tab right there. Oh. Cool. Oh. Okay, there we go. Sure. All right, get the cards out. Put a flat right over the van's logo. Token. Land. Kahira, the Orphan Guard. Okay, cool. It's got it's another companion card. Really cool. Uh, companion each creature card in your starting deck is a cat elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast card. Okay. Vigilance. Each other creature you control, that's a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast, gets plus one, plus one, and has vigilance. That's pretty cool. I would choose a beast. Well, you can do all of them. Know what it says? Let me see. Yeah, or. So it's all of them. Every one of the cats, elementals, or beasts. Alright. Token. Land. Foil. Cloud Piercer. Fun stuff. And Quartz would Crash or Trample whenever you or more or one or more creatures you control with Trample deal combat damage to a player create an XX Green Dinosaur Beast creature token with Trample where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to the player. That's pretty cool. I like that. So my crystal, weaponize the monsters, and primal empathy. All right, let's go through the common see if we got any cool showcase. I don't see any. Let's go to the next pack. That last card was a cool artwork. It was really cool artwork. I like it. Human soldier, token, or land. Voracious great shark has flash. When voracious, voracious, voracious. 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 Voracious, thank you. Great shark enters the battlefield. Counter target artifact or creature spell. 5 4 t counter. That's awesome. I like that. Leave the stampede. Polywog symbiote. Splendor mare. And here are the commons. If you want to look at them, pause it. Ooh, look at that. Vulpakeet. Vul what is that? It's a fox with wings. It's a fox bird. Wow. Vulpix. Oh, that's Pokemon stuff. I don't know anything about Pokemon stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're the expert of Pokemon, right? Well, pigs. Okay, so there's that. Land. Classification. I want you to read this card, Oliver. Check this out. Enchant creature. When classification enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets what? Plus 20 plus 20? Wow! But it does tap that monster. Ooh, there's an uncommon glowstone yeah. recluse. All right. That's really cool. And you can put in a commander. And I have a commander where I can tap a permanent. Uh, is it Samut? Samut. 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 Yeah. Where I tap one, tap a white, tap the commander, uh, untap target permanent. Everything gains haste. Anticipate. So you, Ooh, you crystalline could. giant! At the beginning of your of combat on your turn, choose a kind of counter at random that crystalline giant doesn't have on it. From among flying, first strike, that touch, hexproof, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, vigilance, and plus one plus one. Put a counter on that kind of crystalline giant. That's pretty cool. Another artifact, call of the death dweller. Ooh, uh, archipelago. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't care. Ooh, another one, too. In one pack. Cloud Piercer. Wow. I know. Isn't that awesome? Awesome sauce. So awesome. Right. Human Soldier Token. Land. Ooh, Fiend Artisan. Right now, this is the most expensive card in the set. I think it is. I could be wrong. Uh, this is the opening day on May 15th. Fiend Artisan. Plus, it gets plus one, plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. Ooh. X in a green or black. Tap sacrifice another creature. Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Anticipate or activate this ability only uh, anytime you would cast a sorcery. Sweet sauce. What is that? Titan off Rex. Mm. Flame Spill. Sprite Dragon. And uh, the commons. Let's go through. See if we get any of the showcase. No, that's okay. I right, go ahead and pick you a pack out for the last stack. Oh, 
This one's not one to open. Probably some good in here. Well, let's hope so. Tokens, yeah. land, and whirlwind of thought. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. Avian oddity. Momentum. Momentum. Or, gosh. Necropanther. That's really cool. And let's go through our comments. Go ahead and start opening your pack while I go through the commons. Alright, and get it up here on our last stack. Yeah. Right. Started. You got it started? Good. Alright. Go through and pick That's a dinosaur haste. token with haste. What is that? Tell me. It's a land. Land. Uh, Semi trial. Land. Ooh, yeah. It's a land, basically. Three color land comes in tapped. Awesome sauce. Wingspan Mentor. Zenith Flare. That's a good card. Clash of Titans. And here are our commons. Sweet. Okay. Last few packs. Let's get it cracking. Crash. Human Soldier Token. Land. Ooh, Yorion Sky Nomad Legendary Creature Bird Surfer Companion. Your starting deck contains at least 20 cards more than the minimum deck. Ooh. So he's going to have 80 cards. That's pretty cool. Flying when there's the battlefield, exile any number of other non land permits you own and control. Return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. That's pretty cool. Escape Protocol. Glowstone Recluse and Dire Tactics. All right, let's go through any showcase. Let's see. Oh no, that's okay. How many packs we got left, Oliver? Um, we got an emblem narsha. Count that one seven. Okay. Right, right now we have token six. land, easy prey, destroy target. Oh, it's uncommon. All right, mythos of Nethro. I think we got three of those already. All right, rooting Moloch. Boon, I'm sorry, I didn't even read the card. I'm a terrible person. Destroy target, non land permanent, if it's a creature, or if green or white was spent to cast this spell. Okay, cool. That is the best card. Uh, is it? Okay. Blitz of Thunder Raptor, Master of the Commons. Let's see. Oh. Ew. Dream Tail Heron. Bye. Wool. Wish there was another one of those inside. That time. What are you talking about? You think so? Okay. Land. Ooh, Lures the Dream Den. This one is apparently giving a lot of people trouble. I don't know why. Uh, let's look at it. Each permanent card in your starting deck is converted to mana cost two or less. You don't have to use it for its companion. You can use it just for its regular lifelink, three, two. During each of your turns, you may cast one permanent spell with a converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard. Ooh, I like that. A lot. A lot of people are liking that. Uh, we've got Fight as one, Barrier Breach, Cunning Night Bonder, and we have our commons. Let's go see if we have any of the showcase. I don't see any, so we're going to keep the rest of it. Okay, last five packs. Go ahead and pick one while I open one. Go ahead and start opening it. How about you get Look at the shark. Why does the shark have flying? Sharknado. So weird. Land. Foil land. Slither, yeah, go ahead. Slither Wisp, Flash. Whenever you cast another spell that has Flash, you draw a card, and each opponent loses one life. Ooh, cool. Oh, blue, black, black. That's an interesting color combination. Bastion Remembrance, Auspicious Starix, Jubilant Skybonder. Okay, I'm going to start opening one of your packs. Oh, I have two packs. I told you to pick one. Sir. All right, while you're opening that one, I'm going to open this one. Okay. Token. Ooh. Land. Karuga, the mac macrosage. That is a dinosaur hippo. Wow. I didn't read it. Okay. Hang Something. on. Oliver. It's a companion card. Starting deck contains only three cards with a mana cost three or greater. And land cards. Wow. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other permanent you control with a mana cost three or less. Okay. Pretty cool. Zagath Mamba, Mystic Subduel, Footfall Crater, and our commons. Okay. All right, get your pack up here. All right. This is Oliver's pack. What's in Oliver's pack? All right. Something good, probably. Token. Land. Land. Ooh. 
Shark Typhoon. Wait. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX blue shark creature token with flying, where X is the spell's converted mana cost. Shark wow. Flying. Another flying shark card. Pretty cool. That might be the bird shark. Reconnaissance mission. Frill, Frill Scare Mentor. And here are the common uh, ones. Oh. That's right. There's a lot of cool big creatures in this set. And you know what's great about big creatures? No matter how big they are, they can still be countered. So, control is where it's at. It always has been. Huh? No, you don't. Yes, I do. Dinosaur token. Land. Narset. The ancient way. Yes, I was actually wanting to get this card. Is that a commander? Uh, no. Unless it says it on the card, um, planeswalkers cannot be commanders. Uh, Plus one, you gain two life. Add blue, red, or white. Spend this mana only if you cast non-creature spells. Minus two, draw a card. Then you may discard a card. When you discard a non-land card from this way, oh, excuse me, Narset, uh, the ancient way, deals damage equal to the, that card's word of mana costs two target creature or planeswalker. Cool. Minus six, you get an emblem with whenever you cast a non-creature spell. This emblem deals two damage to any target. Awesome sauce. Cool. Yeah. Another Indafa Crystal. Channeled Force. Back for more. Why you read them? Common. Well, not a lot of people want to read the uncommon card. I read all the rare cards. Read the title of the uncommons. Very those? Huh? And no, not really. Those are uncommon. And Arthur Showcase. Okay. Token, land, oh, survive triumph, foiled, extended art trial, and Kogla, the Titan Ape. Ooh, that's a good pack right there. When Kogla, the Titan Ape, enters the battlefield, it fights up to uh, the one target creature you don't control. Whenever Kogla attacks, destroy target artifact or enchantment defending player controls. Wow. One a green return target human you control to its owner's hands. Kogla gains indestructible to the end of the turn. That's pretty cool. Rushing Fox. Easy Prey. And Lore Dracus. Let's go through our comments. Hope none of these right. cards have death touch. Oh, that can put a death touch counter. Okay, let's go through our rares. Kogla. Got our Mythics. Narset. Shark Typhoon. Karuga. Scythers. Without Laura. Mythos, Yorion, the Triumph, Savai Triumph, Whirlwind of Thought, Fiend Artisan, Crystalline Giant, Colossification, Ferocious, Great Shark, Quartz, Quartz Wood, Cash, Gosh, Kahira, Sea Dasher, Lava Brink, Death's Oasis, Eerie Ultimatum, Titan's Nest, The Ozolith, and Datha Triumph. This is not coming. What are they doing over here? Uh, you put it. Oh, we're play it. Huh. Abash Prey Piercer. Nethroy Apex of Death. That's a mythic. Why not? I think we did a four mythic box. That's it. Gem Razor. Labyrinth Raptor. Genesis Ultimatum. Mythos of Aluna. Dirge Bat. Offspring's Revenge. Mythos of Snapdax. And Ruinous Ultimatum. And Jengatha. The Wellspring. Pretty good box. And it's not over yet, though, Oliver. Yeah. Because it does come with. A box topper. Can I open it? No. Come on. This is a big one. Okay, this is going to be one of the Godzilla cards because they have some alternate art on them. Let's see. Which box topper did we get? Baby Godzilla Ruin Reborn. Cool. Not the best one out there, but it's still a cool card. Extended art and foil. I was wanting that one. All right, guys. Thank y'all for watching Off Block Gaming. I'm Isaac. I'm out of it. And this is Ikoria. What is it? Uh, <laughs> Lair of Behemoths. Thank y'all for watching. Yeah.